The need to standardize Islamic and Arabic education through an integrated education system may have become evident as more states join the growing call to improve and modernize the education system. Recently, the decision by state governors to repatriate many uh, low pupils back to their state of origin because uh, became a topic of heated debate between stakeholders who are opposed to a review and feel it would be detrimental to Islamic education and those that insist on adopting modern practice of this religious education. The Katina state government also strongly insists reforms are inevitable to build a sustainable system. Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. The National Board for Islamic and Arabic Studies is making efforts to strengthen Islamic and Arabic education in the country. This body is mandated by the federal government out of the compelling need to streamline efforts to develop a standardized system of Islamic education as initiated by the late Premier of Northern Nigeria. This new state-of-the-art zonal center is inaugurated by a representative of the state governor, Amin Bella Masari. As I said, we have six zonal offices. So as you see, Katsina, many other headquarters are right now completed and we are going to officially open them as it happened today in Katsina. Some clerics say there are a lot of benefits if Islamic education in Nigeria embrace modernization and adapt to current realities. The COVID-19 pandemic has exposed serious lapses in this age-long tradition and also drawn a wide range of attention and growing concern about how it is practiced. It's another milestone of expanding its activities of promoting Islamic and Western education in Kafena, Zampara, Sokoto and Lekebi. States. Being the zone headquarter and being the seat of learning, right in the 14th century, I think this edifice of this building is also another moral booster to Katanawa, not only the empires in other areas, but to Katanawa. The board was established in 1960 to propel integrated Islamic and Western education studies in the north and has to a large extent actualized these objectives. The Kazuna state government has a growing desire to reform the practice of Arabic and Islamic education and have also committed investing more in religious studies. I just what I heard from the registrar uh, that uh, every school will be equipped with what we call quality assurance offices who, who will now go on to not only validate what is uh, happening in the school, but to ensure quality is maintained. It is hoped that this new center will create a platform for young Islamic and Arabic scholars who are determined to impact the Islamic world with their knowledge. Abdullah Yusuf, TVC News, Katna.